yesterday I was told a story and asked what my reaction would be if I was the one in that situation and as usual it was a very interesting story the story was that there was this guy who got cheated on by his girlfriend with his best friend <laughs> and uh, the, what happened afterwards was actually crazy because that is him best friend and their clique of friends we are now telling him that he got cheated on they were telling him that he should lash out his hostility only on the girlfriend that was what you were telling him they finished this smash of babe he might follow the you see make you make you carry your hostility go meet your girlfriend because why would you trust women can you imagine how stupid that thing that thing sounds how how and i think is it they convinced him also the story you know being too clear and mostly the primary thing and then the person asked me what my reaction would be if it was me see if i was the one in that situation why on god's name will i go to my girlfriend the story was that the the guy's friend the guy's best friend was he, he he it was not overnight that it happened he has been constantly texting the babe you get he has been constantly texting the babe and eventually the time she come for she gets and he was able to invite her and Japan. and then the thing on cast she yet how it take cast me i don't know so like i said now the primary matter now in the gun drop from my table and asked for what my response would be if i was the one in that situation what would my response be now let me tell you i have no quarrel i will have if this thing is to happen to me i will definitely have no real quarrel with my girlfriend or as of what it will be ex-girlfriend <laughs> after i find out what happened that definitely ex-girlfriend as of that time yeah however of course i will approach her i could tell her you don't cast you don't be you don't fuck up let's end it that is all i will not express more than that sure you get why will i not express more than that let me tell you if you carry this situation go meet her tell her don't cast to i know what you did i know what is going on abi what has happened the first thing she would do if you're lucky because first she go and deny her but if you're lucky and she no one drag the matter she will start crying she gets if she started to cry the next thing that will happen is if you're lucky if you're lucky she will say sorry after she says sorry hmm? The next thing that we follow is the table. She will want to switch it. She will start trying to justify why <laughs> she did it. You are not giving me attention. You are not providing for me. You are not this. You are not that. You are not there. He was there. I was vulnerable. He was my resting shoulder. All these guys, Jagabantis, Jagabantis, just know that the guilt strip could change. She go and play the guilt card. You get what I'm saying? The, you were not there for me and I needed someone card. There you go. She go play that card. And with that, you see, you will be left dumbfounded. So why go through all that stress? Why, bro? Why? There is no need for that. After you give her her, the call, after you give her her exit card, she don't go. You see that pent up anger, that rage, that violence, where you want to bust them out. Carry it to your guy. Carry, carry it to your guy. Change them for him, papa, because it's what I would do. If you know, because he's your best friend. So if you know, physically, <laughs> he's stronger. <laughs> I would advise you, <laughs> you end up for coral. Not to try pull physical movement. Me no come off you. You go count on clownish. You get. But there are certain ways you go arrange your words with bro. You go prick them. 
because at the end of the day now nah, your best friend abi so definitely there are things you might have gone through that must have bonded the both of you except if you you get bad taste in best friends or maybe you don't really even understand the meaning of best friend that one is a totally different thing then i'm sorry for you bro there is nothing you see or do that will make him feel anything but if now you're a real guy gone if now you're a real guy your homeboy if he's really your homeboy you will definitely hit a spot after you hit a spot you get what i'm saying definitely you get however even after that i will advise you cut you cut him off cut him off completely that is not a best friend that is not a best friend he, see oh that is not a best friend best friend no go even reason to even she you get it's just like now nah, i'm my guy in real life now nah, my guy so they say in real life in my situation now nah, my guy will now start texting or me 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 i'll start texting my guys before what reason now start texting and telling her what what her how to get to a point where i'll start confessing feelings <laughs> I mean, whatever it is it did how to get there in my bed no no i can't even begin to the minute you did date my guy <laughs> now like um, now like look i know if you explain them you just turn into that junior sister that i either have or don't that i either have or don't i just cannot it's just the no-go area it's haram <laughs> you get i saw the thing normally is supposed to be between repros now no go area my best friend, my babe, na no good area for my guy. My babe too, na no good area for me. No matter, it's something that you don't need to communicate. I don't need to tell you. I don't need to put it into you. You just know. You just feel it. Sure you get. So after you settle things, either you get physical. If you're sure that you're on equal strength, you're sure about it. Get physical. Exchange those blues. Then cut that money afterwards. You get exchange out exchange those blows. Oh man, you know the no man no man the guy. <laughs> the guy is good physically. It's like I said, there's a way you go organize your words. Where you go prick them. Where you go you go dismantle all those same masculine traits with just your words. Paramount thing is cut the guy off. Cut the girl off. May she become your ex, may him man become your ex best friend. Immediately. Immediately. However, when it comes to dashing out hostility, I'll be being hostile, yeah, dashing out your host, dash, lashing out your hostile carnage or whatever the fuck it is, your emotion. Now your friend, your guy friend, now you supposed to collect and pass. Your girlfriend, unjustifiable excuses will come up. You know, you'll be left dumbfounded. It's like, you know, get sense. Focus on your guy. Fo if not truly your best friend, you go touch him somehow to affect him emotionally. Somehow, if he's truly your friend, but you still cut him off afterwards. Wow. Oh.